me I'm gonna open the window on the desk screen once and the floor indicators are not working. Formerly in my M series. Now look what's been done to it. That one doesn't matter. Absolutely destroyed. Actually. How could you? They used to have a very nice MC series going down? No. To so which level? Number one. One? Because if the S series indicators were still here, they would still be working. But then they replaced with these alpha indicators, which of course don't work. Gives me a very nice shimmer hydraulic service elevator at Westwood Corindale. Retake, by the way. Unfortunately, none of the floor indicators work. Very nice M series buttons. Favorite, my favorite elevator fixture. One thousand eight hundred kilos. Twenty six persons. West of Corinda. These should be being. These should be being preserved not replaced or modernized. They still look really nice today. I don't know, no one should be replacing these with US buttons. Right, that's mirror cops. Still controls and phone. There it goes. That's it. A bit too busy to look at your phone, maybe. Let's try going up the ladder. See if it stops getting used. Let's try now. Yes. There 
we even have a nice FAIMXB in the case inside. down to one. Your close button does not work on that side. It needs to work on that side. Please start. Last time I tried to film this up, I nearly got I nearly got caught because I wouldn't want to do that for one when I was on it. Let's see if we can ride it now. I'm never shit my MC it's an MC with traction. Let's ride it. Might be the best of in the sense now they got rid of the David Jones lift. What a disgusting loss of heritage. Westfield, how could you? And shelf lights are on. Good surprise. It's very Jones Perry like. And let's go to one. Down in here in place. <laughs> Epicness. Yeah. for the few persons. See, these look a lot better than the old, than the shin than the duo has buttons. So I place it up with the whole MC series buttons and the other lifts. And the few of which is my one call. All M series should be should be preserved. They should never be replaced. No one has made a button better than this. I don't think. Beautiful looking and vandal resistant. Here's a cap here. Horribly modernized on the inside. The face is really terrible. 
alpha salt density in here, which doesn't work as well. But it's stuck on basement too. This elevator is known for door disease, that wouldn't be surprising actually. Let's go and see. Well, it turns out the thing just glitched, went all the way to two. Don't know what it's doing today. So we got a basement moving on two. I ain't going on three. Sadly, the service over this little place now is quite a bit The LCD, the arrows on these indicators never work properly. I bet you if they ever have original arrow lights, it will be working perfectly. At least it's only a fixed replacement, the logic is still original. Here's a caddy. This isn't very interesting, sir. Yeah. This would be a Schindler 300P, 5400 AP actually, I think. ML traction outside Westwood Connector. Look at that Chinese writing on the floor. Can you even call it? That's probably why. Yeah, it's broken. Look at it, it's stuck between floors. Oh, okay, it's completely blank. Yeah, it's broken. That's it. EPIC fiber. Stupid reason, there's no floor indicator inside. Going up. Are you going up? Yeah, I'm just trying to oh to ride this. Sorry. Nice Not very interesting, one thousand kilograms per ten persons. 
I do not know why it hasn't flown again inside. That seems like a bit of a fail. It's so damn cheap nowadays. Why not put one inside? Or maybe it's just a library being cheap. Is there an outside? So why not inside too? Alright, that's it. I can belong to a John's Perry. John's Perry. I've heard of my own. Unless we come in there. It's another modern. It's been modern. Like everything else here. And. Well. It ain't working today. Probably put some old footage of the lift in the lift tool. No idea what's wrong with it, but yeah, it's broken. That's it. John's Perry. Traction elevator that has been modded twice over in Maya. Westfield Cannondale. Not quite as awesome as the totally awesome M series I've done here. Looks like it's got a Kony mod. This is not the first time it's got modded, this is the second time actually. That's one really bouncy stop. Three doors. So yeah, I presume it originally had to John's Perry Circle. Not sure what that's there. That must be from originally a That's totally original. It was it was originally John's Perry. Modded with saline fixtures, then modded again with Deerhurst. I don't know when it was first modded. One three thousand one hundred and three thousand hundred three thousand sixty kilos. Forty five persons. Which one, for, which level? Okay. First time this one's got modded. When it was when it was a, when it was set on the first mod, it was had painted doors. Now I've got rid of that. I'm pretty sure. Not the first time. There's a whining motor. Oh, chats with Chase Maya. Has electric indicators. Well, pretty generic, but. That's pretty lit. Like the kids, pretty sure it's a claim on based on that nameplate. Not sure who modded it now. Well, where I actually need to be is the ground. So, let's see, fix review. DDA panel is unusually missing. Perry. Going up? Which level? Which level? It doesn't have the original control, I don't believe it's hence the control from when it got first modded. They used to have a poster saying disabled 
axis or something like that. That's about it. This is a shinla hydraulic. The virtual entity on this hand. Let's go come in there. Well, let's see his buttons. That's quite harsh now, isn't it? Down the face to go. Hey, I don't like to put metal rims on it. I can't exactly see the difference every day. Seems to have a vision of logic, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna set it. You saw that. Drop key doors, I think. Run saw controls and phone. Some button's been removed. There's the alarm. The alarm is separate from your telephone. I think I'm going to service a little bit again. And that's it.